when the clouds over Shopville start to crumble and tear. That can only mean one thing. Halloween is in the air. Spiders spin their webs, creepy, crawly, and spooky. And the full moon in Shopville makes everyone act a little kooky. And the jack-o'-lanterns glow to life with fire in their eyes. Ghouls and ghosts sneak up on you and boo you with surprise. Black hats cross your path. Bats swoop down from the night. Witches ride on broomsticks and cackle with delight. The clock strikes twelve. The scream cries out. Something's crawling on your head. There's nowhere you can hide from the terrors outside. Not even in your bed. Long shadows will make you jump as you peer across the street. And a shopkin will come a knockin'. It's time for trick or treat. Happy Halloween from the Shopkins. <laughs> Blossom, proud candidate in the first election for mayor of Shopville. As an apple, I understand the need for wholesome core values. Cut! Do we really need a flag in every shot? Of course we do! This is an election campaign video. Let's finish this later. Susie invited us to the park. We don't have time for the park. Hey, are you guys ready for the park? Sure am. No, no, no. Apple doesn't have time for the park. We have a very busy campaign schedule today. Come on, Apple. You don't really need to do any campaigning. Yeah, your tote's gonna win. Besides, is anyone else even like running for mayor? Come on, dummy me. Quit doing that. Oh, no. Somebody help. Thanks, Kookie. You're amazing. So, uh, you want me to put this anywhere? <laughs> nah, nobody no, else will nobody else nobody will nobody else will no So, Apple, have you picked out your theme song yet? My theme song? Everybody needs a theme song if they want to make a great entrance. Oh, um, gee, we should totally head over to the music store and create something cool for Apple. Fine, I'll add it to the schedule. Wait, we need to upload Apple's campaign profile pic first. Hashtag Apple Blossom, hashtag Bear, hashtag Bear Blossom, hashtag Shopville Selfies, hashtag Shopkin Selfies, hashtag Smallmart Selfies, hashtag Miss Sleepy Lips, Miss Shopville 2016, hashtag It's Bo, hashtag Shopkin's Bear. You done? No, I just stopped because you were staring at me. Hashtag Interrupted, hashtag Back to Hashtagging, hashtag Hashtag. Maybe I don't even need a theme song for my campaign. Oh, come on, Apple. We just need to create something really awesome. See? Like that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the shopkin who's been around the world. She has looks around her opponents. She's been campaigning up and down. The streets of Shopville spinning for your support. Please give a warm welcome to the future mayor of Shopville, Miss Yolanda. Look how many flags she has. She's got my vote. I told you about the flags. It's the campaign event you've all been waiting for. The Great Shopville today, live from the Toy Store. Featuring your two favorite candidates, Apple Blossom and Yolanda Yo-Yo. 
Remember, if you get nervous, just smile. Being a leader is 90% confidence and 25% skill. I'm not confident in that math. That's the spirit. Now let's see that smile. I feel more nervous just looking at you. Okay, Yolanda just rolled in. Try to act natural. Hi, I'm Blossom Apple. I, I mean, hey, Apple Blossom. It is such a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, uh, you too, Yolanda. Hey, can we talk for a moment? Sure. If I told you a secret, would you tell anyone? No, I would never share it with anyone. Okay, I'm like super nervous about the debate today. I'm super nervous too. Don't worry, the debate will be all in good fun. I think we're on. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you so much. You are our hero. Okay, shot cannons. Without further ado, let's give our candidates a chance to tell us why we should vote for them to become the first mayor of Sheffield! Uh, hello, I'm Apple Blossom. <laughs> I'm so sorry, am I hurting you? <laughs> Just kidding. Apple, tell us why we should vote for you. Well, I consider myself to be an upstanding citizen of Shopville. I promise to lead with honesty and integrity. Yolanda. Why should we take yes for the yo-yo come election day? Well, I really understand the value of sharing with your fellow Shopkins. Unlike Apple Blossom, that's right, Apple refuses to share her toys. When I asked her if I could play with her remote-controlled speedboat, this is what she said to me! No, I would never share it with anyone. Gosh, but I don't even own a toy speedboat. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Let's thank our two candidates for coming. I can't believe she would make that up about me. Don't worry about it. We know that's not the type of Shopkin you are. Who's that? So, Fortune Stella, will I win the election or do I need to be even sneakier? Ask again later. Will you even answer my question later? Ask again later. Uh, who cares? I'm gonna win. And when I'm mayor, I'm gonna pass this bill requiring everybody to dress and act just like me. I don't care what you are. A shoe, lipstick, an apple. I'm gonna turn everybody in Shopville into yo-yos. <laughs> Ask again later. I don't want to be a yo-yo. I get motion sickness. We need to get that bill as evidence so nobody votes for Yolanda. Run! Too bad that wasn't my only copy. Better luck next time. <laughs> and then Yolanda said she'll turn us all into yo-yos. Who oh, no. We need to stop her. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it won't be so bad. It'll be horrible! Uh, Apple, I think you should come outside. That's it! This needs to stop now! Follow me! Oh my, fixing your opponent's billboards. Such an honorable act. Every candidate has the right to an honest and fair campaign. So, uh, did you want me to put these somewhere? Yolanda, uh, what do you want? You're not playing fair. I challenge you to a shop quiz right here, right now. You're on. Shopkins of Shopville. It looks like we have a shop quiz on our hands. You know the stakes, one incorrect answer, and you're out of here. Let's get to it. Apple, what year was the small month built? 2013. Correct. Yolanda, who designed the Toasty Pop-inspired fashion line? Shady Diva. Correct. 
Ethel. Who came second in last year's shopping cart rally? Cheeky Chocolate. Correct. Yolanda, what is in aisle 25 of the small mall? Ask again later. Ask again later. I mean, do Trick question. There is no aisle 25. Apple Blossom wins. <laughs> okay, Shopkins, you know your candidates. Now, it's time for all of you to cast your vote for the first Mayor of Shopkins. Oh, yeah. This is, like, super suspenseful. The moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Drum roll, please. And the first mayor of Shopville is... It's a tie between Apple Blossom, Yolanda Yo-Yo, and Cookie Cookie. So what do we do now? In the event of a tie, candidates have the option to pass their votes to another candidate. I hereby pass my votes to... Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom is the winner! I'm so sorry you didn't win, Kooky. You're such an upstanding candidate, Kooky. I mean, what you did for Apple. Huh? What do you mean? Kooky went around and painted over all those awful billboards for you. Kooky, you did that for me? This entire campaign, Yolanda and I have been too busy thinking about ourselves while Kooky has been helping everyone out. She deserves to be mayor. I hereby pass my votes to Kooky. Well, you heard her, Shopkins. The first ever mayor of Shopville is Kooky Kooky. No, no. I should win. <laughs> oh, there is no need to cry, Yolanda. I just feel so Terrible. The only reason I was going to make everybody dress like me is so I didn't feel so self-conscious about myself. Every Shopkin is different, but that's what makes us so special. I guess you're right. So, Mayor Cookie, what is your first order of business? The expansion of Shopville. Congratulations again, Cookie. Oh, I can't wait to see the new places in Shopville. Perhaps you could build another clothing store? What are you going to build here, Cookie? Well, we need something to spice this area up. Maybe some sort of club. Check you later. Tonight on The Spatula. I love this show, but I'm getting tired. How long have we been watching for? Not that long. 20 minutes and uh, three weeks! I have missed so many shifts at the fashion boutique. I better call Shady and... Never mind. She fired me. I think I missed something, too. Uh, yep. Dentist. And I missed my flight. Yep, I was meant to go traveling with spilt milk. Okay, we have to get off this couch. <gasps> Hello? Mayor's office? Yes, I need to speak to Mayor Cookie. The mayor can't chat right now. She's in an extremely important meeting. <laughs> we need her help. It's about the small marsh. <gasps> Walk with me, Apple. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, 
We binge watched the spatula, and now we have a massive power bill. If we can't pay within the month, they're going to shut off the power to the small mart. Chuck, how much do we have in the budget? We spent the last of our quarterly funds building the new chef club, buying TVs to watch the spatula on, and this clipboard. Chip, give me your rundown of Chuck's analysis. We have no money. Okay, we need to brainstorm. The most important thing right now is not to get sidetracked. I'm hungry. We should get food. We should make cupcakes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. let's do yes. it. Of course. Great idea. <sighs> Dig in, guys. Fresh from the oven. Stand back, Mayor! Ah! Here's the mayor's safe, Chip. She's safe, Chuck. Come on, Toasty. We're trying to save money. I don't want to have to buy my breakfast today. That's it. Why don't we bake food and sell it to raise money? The Shopville Fall Festival is coming up in a few weeks. That'll be a massive opportunity. Except for one small problem. Does anyone know how to actually cook? More sugar. Come on, guys, it's Halloween. Let's take a break and go trick or treating. If we never learn to cook, we'll never save the small mart. And a bit of fun never hurt anyone, Apple. Come on, where's your Halloween spirit? You're not even in costume. I don't have time for costumes, Cheeky. Now hand me that bag of flour, please. Fine. Ah! <laughs> trick! But I never even said trick or treat. Eh, at least you've got a costume. Now you're a ghost. How did our samples go, Susie? Well, nobody really wanted to eat our treats, except for those scary bone-shaped biscuits. They loved those. Susie, those are Milk Bud's dog treats. <laughs> See, Apple, that's all the more reason to go trick-or-treating. We need to research what Shopkins actually like. Can I go too? <sighs> Fine, but can you at least help me clean up this mess before you... Nope, they've already left. <gasps> okay, I'm like totally freaked out right now. <laughs> I never get scared on Halloween. Boo! I'm a tree. Oh, Susie, <laughs> save me! You were saying, Cheeky? That was just a flinch. I'll go trick-or-treating anywhere in Shopville. Oh, yeah. What about that house? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not scared. I guess nobody's home. Ah! Hi, I'm Fleur Flower, and you must be scared. Get me out of this. Why don't you chew your way out? Is that fairy floss? Sure is. Made it myself. Made it yourself, huh? Finally! How much candy did you bring back? No candy, but I've got something even better. Somebody to help us cook. There's something burning. I want to taste it, but that means you'll have to cut it and it won't be perfect anymore. Great job, Lippy. These cakes will sell like crazy at the fall festival. I couldn't have done it without your guidance, Fleur. No problem at all. I'm happy to be teaching you guys. 
Uh, uh, photos first, and then you can all try a piece. Whoa, whoa! Hey, guys! My cake is ready if you want to try it. Oh, yeah, we can wear it. Oh. Ready? Fleur, I'm not learning as fast as the others. Do you think we could do a few extra lessons? Of course we can, Toasty. Do you want to make another cake? I would, but I used up the last of the eggs. Well, you have to get creative with the ingredients you've got. Let's use buttermilk instead of eggs. Are you ready to become a chef? if you help down in the kitchen more often. Hey, I'm just glad that my meal is dry for a change instead of being burnt to a crisp. You want your turkey to be a little less dry? No problem. Hey! You know what? I actually have too much food on my plate. I should probably share with everyone else. Do, but I'd rather sit in the dark than be subjected to this gruel. I didn't mean literally. Thanks, Frida. That'll be two dollars. Any chance I could get one of those, too? I'm really sorry about the other night. To be honest, I'm just jealous because you're a way better cook than I'll ever be. Thanks, Cheeky. We're getting closer to our goal, Gang! The cow has already been turned off, and I cannot apply makeup without adequate lighting. Oh, no! Spilt Milk gets back from her trip today! I forgot to tell her about the power! Hey, guys. I'm back. Hello? What happened to the lights? Is this the switch? Relax, guys. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, except for that. Eh, it'll probably just be a light drizzle. I feel I spoke too soon. I have an idea. Follow me. Oh! with the ingredients you've got. Susie, grab as much flavored syrup as you can find. Hey, everybody. Get your ice-cold storm slushies right here. Hey, do you have cola? Can I get a raspberry flavor? It feels good to have power again, although we need to be careful about our consumption. Totally. We should probably go to bed. I guess one more episode won't hurt. Definitely. I could watch another. I want to see what happens next. We could even finish the season. Check you later. Yeah.